This custom ROM is absolutely unique than the other custom ROMs that I've used so far and this ROM is Afterlife Project. Afterlife project comes in with a lot of UI changes and the UI looks cool in my opinion. Just take a look at this completely different looking quick settings panel plus this looks way better than the android OEM skins or any other ROMs. The settings menu is also different. The settings menu have this nice animation too and it looks just like a wow. And it's not just for single one, it's available for all options. About phone section is also different and looks pretty cool. For customization, Afterlapse is the place where you can find all custom magician we have status bar tweaks where we can tweak status bar related things like the afterlife logo battery styles thus comes with a lot of different styles and from here we can change quick settings battery style as well and battery bar is available too which is not working and then we have some more options for status bar as you can see themes lets you customize system and ui related things and first of all is afterlapse theme which have two options default one is the one that you are seeing so far and then there is semi grid option which also shows more customization option than the default one. We can also add our own text which will appear on the header of afterlaps. Category preference style reminds me of ancient OS which also had something similar like this. So what it does is it changes the style of subheaders that you can see if you enter any settings page. So on top we can see a preview of the text style and then we can choose from the option that is available. We can add some extra icons before the text and text font can be changed into bold or all capital divider line can be added too and a stroke outline as well. Starting icons have two options as you can see. Then we have money settings, system fonts, lock screen fonts, icon pack for system and others as you can see. Then we have some customization for quick settings. From here I can enable profile picture to show on quick settings panel near the user name. But it is not showing anything now. Everything related to footer will show under Wi-Fi tile inside this username tile. I can change tile shape as well. I like the default one which is round for active and rounded rectangle for inactive and this gives tile a nice animation when I toggle it on or off and these are the lock screen related tweaks as you can see over here system tab have this notification tweak and it's perfect as it includes all the necessary things then under general tab we have miscellaneous from which we can find toggle to get unlimited photo storage unlock high fps in game and signature spoofing is available too there are some other things too as you can see also android p style animation makes this ROM even better. Under app settings we have game space and parallel space too. Sound setting have smart pause feature and on bottom we have per volume control as well. We have some gestures tweaks as well. From here I can change the navigation pill size, length and its height or I can hide it. And my question is does pill size matter? Other thing is that you don't have to worry about Widevine or safety net either because it passes the safety net without root and Widevine is L1 as well. Geekbench and CPU throttling test results are pretty good but the most amazing one is CPU throttling test and it's been a while since I saw this. Yes, no throttling detected. So I guess it's time to find the answer by playing some games. Chase you back. Target in sight. Enemy down. Enemy UAV spotted. Oh. Stealth chopper inbound. Kill confirmed. Ooh, is contact. Sentry gun deployed. I'm vengeance. Sentry gun ready for deployment. Ooh, piece of kill confirmed. Stealth chopper away.
so the gaming is really good without screen recording the game ran almost smoothly as there were some occasional frame drops but that won't be a problem as it runs better than other custom roms and this might be the new gaming rom based on android 13 with that amazing afterlife ui so for bugs i did find some minor source bug like the profile image does not appear in quick settings even after enabling it some features like quick settings dual tone and battery bar does not work at all other than this i didn't face any major bugs most of the thing was working fine so if you're looking for flashing steps then watch this video that will appear on top right corner the flashing steps is for switching back from 4.19 dynamic roms to 4.4 standard roms so follow that steps to flash if you're coming from 4.19 dynamic partition rom and standard rom users can just simply flash it like they used to do so this rom is really amazing and it can be used as a daily driver without any major issues there are some minor source bugs which should be fixed soon other than that everything is fine there are no lags in ui performance is good too can't say much about battery life but the standby time is great and it can stay up to four five days while the device is laying somewhere in the corner so for me most appealing part is unique ui and different approach in custom rom the ui looks very good and everything looks perfectly aligned and it does not feels like it's a cheap design which can make it a competitor for the android oem skins out there so that's it for this video make sure to subscribe for more videos like this also leave a comment and like on this video.